Uh, opening statement today, you know, first day in full pads. Uh, you know, we tackled a little bit. Um, it was it was fun to watch us out there compete. You know, the young kids are coming along. They're starting to understand. I am a um, I'm a drink through a fire hose install guy, so I'd say 90% of the offensive defense are already in. Uh, and they've been in for a couple of days, so we're just getting better and better and better. And uh, John was really sharp today. It was fun to see him back and on, on point. And uh, defense finally put some blitzes in, so the so the tempo of the offensive defense happened uh, like it should today, where it was coverage, blitz, coverage, blitz. And uh, man, they competed. It's gonna be fun. We got one more day tomorrow before the first day off, and their legs are tired, but they're out there competing. So it's been it's been a good start. First time seeing the rookies in, in full pads too. I mean, who kind of impressed today? I mean, I. You know, Crooms did a great. Corey Crooms has been, probably been the, the, the most consistent. You know, and if you would ask me after spring ball, he came here early, got here in December, uh, looked like a freshman in spring ball, didn't know what he was doing, was timid, didn't run fast, and he's like a new man out there. So he's been having a great, great camp. Uh, Sky Moore had a couple plays today that he made, which was fun to watch. And uh, those are the two from the from the wideout perspective. Not a lot of other young guys are playing at time. You know, our young quarterback just got his first reps and he looked like his first reps, and uh, which was fun for him to live through that. I was proud of him. He got rid of the ball, didn't know where to throw it, but didn't hold on to it. You know, and uh, so those two are the right now probably the two young guys that have been jumping out at least today. You talk about John. He's obviously a veteran. When you came in here, you had brought your system now. He obviously had to miss. Last year, you had to watch from the sidelines, but how valuable is it having a guy that knows kind of the ins and outs of the playbook? And kind of what does John bring to the table this year as a senior? You know, his his leadership, he's starting to talk more. Um, he made two throws today that were big time throws. I mean, against the Blitz, uh, one was a touchdown, the other one was a big first down. And, uh, you know, you, you can't coach that. It's great for our other guys to be able to watch it, you know, and... Uh, so he, he has control. We actually have adjusted our system even more this year. We've made a lot of tweaks to our offense for him uh, with his input uh, and, a, and a trip to comes and help too. Uh, just to, to give him different options when, when they bring pressure. And, and man, he was all over today. So the other the other guys are coming along, you know, but uh, and today when the pressure comes, you see age, age shows quickly with pressure. Uh, I would say Caleb had a really good first four days when they were just sitting back reading coverage. He started to read coverage way better, like John. Uh, and when the pressure came, he got caught up a couple times today, which he just showed his, his age, you know. But uh, but yeah, his his leadership and him being able against the pressure to make them pay, not just survive the pressure, but but beat the pressure. That's that's really as a quarterback from a mental standpoint, when you have the ability to beat pressure, that scares defensive coordinators from bringing pressure. And that's really what you need on a quarterback. Young kids are just trying to get them to survive it, not make it a negative play. Uh, John's past that. He's looking to how can I hurt the defense because I know they're, they're, they're thin somewhere. And he, he took advantage of it. I know you're evaluating every single day, but where are the logical points in camp where you want to look and see concrete progress? Is it a week? Is it two weeks? Where are you looking at? Uh, it's a week. I mean, it's, a, it's about the next couple days. You know, we're, uh, we've gone... This tells me a lot these next two days. Their bodies are tired. We've gone six straight, five. Tomorrow's going to be six straight. Uh, I purposely have a three-hour practice tomorrow. We have the longest practice of the year tomorrow. Because uh, they'll be mentally drained tomorrow. So we're going to see who can handle the fatigue of a season and all the stuff, you know, all the pressure that they, that they put on themselves. And we have a ton of great battles going on on the defensive side of the ball right now. Uh, it's going to be fun to see who comes out on top, you know. Um, Offensively, you know, our line looks really good. Our tight ends and running backs, we, we kind of know who they are, John. The wideouts has been a fun competition to watch. You know, Tyron looks great. Um, so it's it's uh, there's more competition on the defensive side than the offensive side. Um, but but really, these next couple days, once everything's in, is really when you can start evaluating who's ready to play as a, as a young kid or, or not. And uh, so we'll learn a lot more here in the next week.